Hi friends at CUNA School District. We're happy to give you an update on all that's being done to get ready for the 2018 and 2019 school year. Thank you for all you have done for vote, to vote for kids and pass the bond and levy this past March. These are exciting times at CUNA School District. Work has already begun and this spring you'll begin to see construction crews at various buildings. Behind the scenes we've also been planning to help make smooth transitions to new school configurations beginning this coming school year. At CUNA High School, the architects are in the process of designing new, a new multi-purpose athletic addition. This addition will house CUNA High Wrestling and provide needed space for physical education classes. Constructed is, construction is expected to begin in spring of 2018. There's also been a team that's been meeting to acquire land for future schools. Their important ta first important task was to find land for the new high school. Thanks to their efforts and partnership with the city of CUNA and with the Durant Family Trust, a new high school will be built on the la land on the northeast corner of Linder and Columbia Roads. Soon you'll see signs marking that area as a future location. This group will also be meeting to make sure we have land for new elementary and new middle schools as needed into the future. A group of people have also been meeting to determine the right configuration for all of our schools going forward. They've met through the summer and they've proposed the following plan to the Board of Trustees. For elementary schools, the long-term goal is to convert all elementary schools into K-5 neighborhood schools with science, technology, engineering, art, and math, otherwise known as STEAM, pathways included at all schools. In the short term, Hubbard will be serving grades K through three, Indian Creek will be doing the same, and both of these primary schools will feed into Ross which will serve grades four through five. The long-term goal of the middle schools is that they'll be divided by attendance zones that will provide the same programs at each school and a flexible project-based learning space as currently exists at CUNA Middle School. Two distinct athletic programs would exist. In the short term, attendance zones will be implemented and sixth grade students will begin at the new middle school beginning with the 2018-2019 school year. We will have middle school, a middle school sports program drawing from both schools. The Synergy program will be housed at Teed and the Dual Language and Extended Resource program will be housed at KMS. For our high schools, the long-term goal is that the high schools will be divided by attendance zones with some programs existing at both schools and others such as career technical education courses serving to complement one another. Two distinct athletic programs will eventually exist. Phase one, opening in the 2020-2021 school year, be a new high school with a focus on specialized instructional spaces for career and technical education, otherwise known as CTE. These courses, this building will also house general education core courses. While attendance boundaries would be in place, students will be able to transfer back and forth between CUNA High School and the new high school based on course offerings. One athletic program would exist under CUNA High School and be open to students at all CUNA School District high schools. The CTE courses identified as priority for Phase 1 in the new high school are as follows. Health Sciences, Electronics, Pre-Engineering Construction, Diesel Tech, Collision Repair, and Auto Tech. Phase two, the focus would be to add 
more core infrastructure, such as gymnasium, kitchen, etc., as well as more classroom and CTE space. Yet another group's been meeting to make sure that there is a smooth transition for sixth grade students into a middle school environment. The team has been sharing these recommendations with the Superintendent's Advisory Council and the school board over the last several months. After getting input and guidance on these recommendations through these groups, the team hopes to begin implementing their recommendations in January and soliciting additional input through parent groups. The hard work of rezoning and drawing school boundaries has also begun. The rezoning solution team has been working on reviewing and adjusting elementary attendance zones. They've created middle school attendance zone options, and they are also working on their recommendation for high school attendance zones. They'll be soliciting community input this winter and making their, pres their presentation to the Board of Trustees in January. There's also been a team of people working to make sure that staffing is done in a smooth way and equitable way for all considered. We want to make sure that high quality staff exists in all of our buildings. This team is creating a process that answers the question, how will we staff all of our schools next year and do so with equability in mind? We've noticed throughout this process that in CUNA School District, equality matters. The main theme throughout all the feedback we've received so far is that our community wants solutions that focus on equality. In other words, the quality of education should not be dependent on where a student lives within the district. Hearing this message from our community warms our hearts because public educators are all about students. Superintendent Johnson has always said that she wants to make it hard for parents to choose where they would want to enroll their children because all of our schools are equally amazing. While we have some investing to do in order to achieve equity in schools, we know we can accomplish this as we continue to work together to achieve high quality education for all students within CUNA School District. If you have any questions, please free, feel free to email us at questions at cunaschools.org. Thank you for all you've been doing. We look forward to giving you other updates as progress continues.